you diamonds on my neck Yeah, I'm shining like a light I don't give a fuck, man. I ain't got time to fight Big FN on me, you can catch these slugs, homie Bad bitch, you tryna fuck something, pass it to the homie Gang, gang, yeah, we in this bitch, it's WGA Whole gang aggressive, huh? <laughs> Hey, y'all need me freestyling, dog, but fuck it. Go ahead, cuz. Now turn that bitch up. Let's go, Rooch. Show, 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 him, show, him, show him the rapping skills right here live, man. Let's go. Let's get it. Shit. Okay. She gave me head the whole dry. I can't lie, this bitch a blower. I fuck her like I love her, but treat her like I don't know her. Okay. Mama asked me why I always keep a cup, cause I'm a stoner. Yeah. 400 for a zip, they can smell it off my aroma. Had Ooh. to go and get a bag, now it's coming just how I want it. If the head don't come with the pussy, then I don't want it. Damn. Only five, we just sliding the scatty, we spinning corners. Well respected, I get it. Whack without a warning. You hear me? Yeah. yeah. Get them whack without a warning. I don't give a fuck, pull the phone, now I'm snoring. Huh? Okay. Bitch, you on my dick, huh? And I ain't even horny, huh? Uh, 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 there you go, yeah. Put up in the scat, we was gone by the morning. Yeah. Early in the morning, hit her once, then I'm yawning. Damn. Take the pussy, then we going. Okay, okay, <laughs> then okay. Then going. The biggest. You already know. <laughs> Draco Jackson, Ruchi Fresh, man. Y'all hear it? Y'all hear it? Y'all hear it? Man, fucking. Yeah. What's up, losers? I'm your host, KD, and welcome to the first episode of the Popular Loser Podcast, where it's okay not to fit in. And today, I got my first guest, up-and-coming rapper, Draco Jackson. Yeah, yeah, what a dope. Big what's Draco. up, what's up, man? For real. Can you introduce us to your other two? Oh, yeah, man. I'm here with my cousin, though, man. Got, I got my cub, BB, over here. You already know what the fuck going on. Zone 8's finest. Got my other cub, Big Roots over there. I got down. Make sure y'all tap yes, in sir, with swine. What a do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If y'all got anything to promote right now, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Got down me a cut. Got down. Got the video out. And I got down. Oh, what the fucking name of the song, cut? We did downtown. We, we living. Oh, yeah. We living. Got down. We got the tape. Well, I got the tape. We still living. Got cuz. That's the only feature I got on the tape. It's got down cuz. Bit root out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And shit, we got a whole bunch of shit coming. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all go tap in with Cud, Two Bit Roots and Fresh, man. You already know what the fuck going on. Yeah, it's a lot of shit on YouTube. Go fuck with us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now to get on you, Draco, you know, take us to the first part of where you all started this. Man. Where you from, you know? I'm originally from Pensacola, Florida, you know. Shout out to the hometown, you already know. Then I migrated to the D, you already know, with the fam, you know. And we all the way turned up, man. We just living, man. Got down. Oh! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When did you start rapping? When, when, when did you start that? Shit. And I started taking it serious, I'm going to say, probably about three years ago. Seriously. But I've been rapping, like, you know what I'm saying? On the back of the bus, shit, freestyling at the hot box in the apartment, shit. Nigga been rapping, but shit, just seriously, like, about three years ago, we just been working since then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ruchi, what about you? How, how, how long have you? Yeah, I've been rapping for some years now. I started taking it serious just a couple of years back, but I've been I've been taking it serious for like three years now. Other than that, before then, I used to just always go to the studio, just rap, just rap to the, just rap. You know what I'm saying? Just to hear yeah, myself. But once everybody started hearing me, like, oh, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's when I started taking it serious. So now that's what we doing. We stepping. When me and Draco, I actually met Draco. Tied in through the stool shit too. Like even though we family, we ain't know each other. You know what I'm saying? So he was recording at the time. Shit, I went over there, got introduced to him, and ever since then we just been locked in. Like you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Yeah, yeah. Niggas don't you know. even know. Before I was rapping, I was recording niggas. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> For real. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I didn't watch him come from here to here. You know what I'm saying? On the same time, he didn't watch me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what about what? Where 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 did the name come from? Man, the name came from shit. The streets, for real shit. Draco, you know, shit. We ain't gonna shit. Talk too much about that though. Yeah, you, but, you know, <laughs> but the Jackson part came from you know, cause that's my favorite artist, Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? So it's, let's dive into that too. You know, tell me some of your favorite artists. Tell me, you know, who, who'd you grow up? Who was your influences? Who made you really think you could do this rap stuff? Oh uh, shit, I me mean, shit, me watching Michael Jackson. Shit, I always like nah, that nigga. Man, the way he just had motherfuckers going crazy and motherfuckers falling out, can't even watch the rest of the show. I'm like, this nigga crazy, great. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I wanted to be like that. But that's my main influence. But like, me listening to like 
niggas like Future and shit like that. And shit, just listening and learning from them niggas shit, I had to find my sign, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, them them, them too. Everybody else, I just, they make good music, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really try to listen to too many rappers, you know what I'm saying? But So you wouldn't say you have a favorite rapper? Well, outside of yourself, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't got a favorite, like I got a favorite artist, and that's Michael Jackson. Like, okay. I really don't have a favorite rap artist, like, you know what I'm saying? So... But I like niggas make good music though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I listen to niggas, but they not like not favorite. Michael Jackson. Big step. Okay, okay, okay. The biggest. So can you tell us how many projects you got out right now currently? Currently I got out two projects. That's it. I got the V uh the virus EP and I got the We Living mixtape, but I'm getting ready to goddamn put out that We Still Living tape. But I'm okay, okay. When is that coming out? I ain't got a date. I ain't got a date. I ain't got a date right now because me and my producer, baby DJ, we working on it. We just trying to make sure everything right, all the songs right. And oh, yeah. You got to shout him out. You got to shout out DJ. No Most look definitely. Cut, Most baby definitely. DJ, the best producer in the oh, yes, fucking sir, world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No cap. AZ to the D. Yes, sir. Hell, yeah. So uh, I seen that you was on tour with PZ. You know, how how, did, how was that? How was uh, performing with him? That shit, it was straight PZ. He a cool individual, man. I fuck with that. I fuck with PZ. You know what I'm saying? We did the show in Pensacola, my hometown, you know what I'm saying? We shut that bitch down. Pizza had that bitch turned. They love that nigga out that bitch. That nigga, he cool, he's solid ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with him. Do you got any artists you want to work with uh, in the Detroit scene? Uh, yeah. I got a fly. I'm going to say baby favorite, right? That shit, other than that, you know what I'm saying? It's all family shit, cuz, and that's about it, you know what I'm saying? Because like I say, I'm trying to work on, like, me, you feel me, so... Trying to get my sound and my, you know what I'm saying, stamp, stamp out there. That's about it. So, but yeah, I fuck with Babyface, right? For sure. I feel it. What about, uh, you know, major artists? Major artists? Oh, uh, yeah. Probably the Future. Got down a little baby. Dirt. And, um. So you rock with the streets. That's, that's yeah, what I'm hearing. That's, that's what I fuck with. That's most definitely. Oh, uh, and, uh, who else? I fuck with that nigga the baby. I just like how his videos be so crazy. That nigga, he, he I don't know, that nigga like a video genius or some shit. That nigga hard. Yeah, he definitely know how to, you know, work Instagram yeah, yeah, and you that know, all that all that type of stuff. He know how to get people talking about him. Yeah, yeah, that nigga. Man, I don't, I'm trying to figure out the sauce. <laughs> shit. To go on you, to go on you, you know? How about you? Where where did your where did your rap career start? You know? How did you uh who's your inspirations? Who you wanna work with? My inspirations, I looked at the like, um, my daddy, I got an old soul, so I was listening to older crowds like Tupac or you had Nas, and you get what I'm saying? But that's what I looked up to as far as like the music, taking it serious, what major artists I wanted to work with. <coughs> Yeah, I'd probably work with the baby. I'd probably work with uh money bag, yo. I'd work with uh I wish I could have touched bases with Nissy. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Rest, Rest in peace, peace one of the ghosts. Uh that's probably about it. I ain't I ain't really I listen to everybody in the industry though, just to hear the sound, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even if it's not all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to listen to it just to hear like how they come and you know, what I got to be prepared for. You know what I'm saying? But that's about it. Where did you find your sound? I found my sound. I was saying that, that, you got to think about it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it took me a minute to find my sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to craft, like, because I... I was going at so many different angles trying to sound like this and sound like that, you know what I'm saying? But once I got that right, that everybody was giving me good feedback on, they like, oh, yeah, this is how you should go. This is how you should go. I, I learned how to, you know, sauce it up a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Now people just like, oh, you you just cold. You know what I'm saying? Like the way you bring your delivery, you can, you can switch your delivery. You can multitask. You know what I'm saying? You you cold. So. What about you, Draco? Where you get your sound from? Is that any Florida artists? Interested? Shit, I get my shit from my daddy, man. I mean, listening to my daddy got nothing because he, you know, my my folks Jamaican. And he always, you know what I'm saying, he always was in a band. And he had his own band. He's always rehearsed at the Chris. So always, I ain't gonna shit, just learn from that nigga hearing him sing and different shit. And 
me knowing this Michael Jackson and all that, you know what I'm saying? So I say, I just got my sound from me being around pops and shit. Mike, shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. So is that what introduced you to music, Fresh Your Pops? Yep, for sure. That's why I made my first song with my dad. That's clutch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. How many projects do you have out, Ruchi? I have a couple singles, about three singles, and a mixtape. And then I got about nine videos on YouTube. Anything coming out pretty soon? Definitely. It's in the works. Definitely in the works. Definitely. We've been working on that. What is it called? All uh, Punch and No Hooks. Yeet, yeet. <laughs> yeah, Damn. first ski. Beat your ass the fuck up, nigga. I'll punch. <laughs> <laughs> Take coming. off. <laughs> coming. All punching, no hooks, man. It's coming. So I'm assuming you uh, record a lot of your freestyles like that? Definitely. Draco, do you do your freestyles or do you write? No writing. This, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga don't write at all. You hear me? Like, no writing. He go, look, like, he go in the booth and just... Just punch, like for real, for real. Like he, he, he wanted the ones to just like punch for real. So you say he ain't, he ain't, he ain't capping about his, huh? No, no. he ain't capping. <laughs> no, no, no cap. He ain't, he ain't capping. Like he, I ain't gonna lie, on I can't write a song. That shit crazy as hell. <laughs> like me and him be getting into it. Cause I be like, cuz you know what I'm saying? Like we be like, even though the song get dead, cuz that's just how cuz go at it. So he don't care about he a paper however long the time take. You get what I'm saying? Cuz. He know he ain't ready to, he don't get ready until he get into that booth. So that's when he ready. And then that's how it go. I, I can go in there and lay my verse down. Yeah, because fast as hell. That nigga. He, he starts soon as he get into the booth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll probably be out there writing before I go in the booth or something like that. Cuz not starting until he get into the booth. Yeah, Cuz be done with that bitch in two minutes. I'm like, God damn. That, that's kind of how we. Yeah, that's just, you know what I'm saying, how we work. That's how we work, though. So how long would you say you usually stay in the studio when you do go in? Uh, I'm probably in the booth, probably like five five minutes at the most. About five minutes. Five I mean, minutes that bitch about thirty. Well, I mean, as a whole, how long are you gonna be in the studio? Oh shit, we well, we in there for hours. Hours. Oh, okay, okay. Ten hour block sometimes. We don't leave that bitch till the sun come up. Okay, okay. That's that's how you got to do it. Uh, yeah, most definitely. How much would a feature cost from either one of you? Shit right now, my shit, a thousand. I'm at a thousand, man. That shit gonna go up in a minute, so y'all better tap in. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm working with I'm working with budgets, whoever, you know what I'm saying, willing to work, I I I look out, you know what I'm saying, if I like your music or whatever, but I ain't really in the taxing range right now. Okay, okay. Do you have any favorite artists in the city? I ain't got no favorite artists, but I definitely got a couple I wanna work with. Who's that? Uh Babyface. Dame Dot, uh, Mize, do something with Mize, and uh, I do something with Sterl too, Sterl Gotti. Oh yeah, that little nigga hard. Yeah. Okay, okay. I do something with Sterl Gotti. I think he would mix well with you, Draco. Like y'all yeah, kind of got I, the same type of uh, it's, it sounds kind of the same, you know. Yeah, y'all sound I, real similar. We might have to put that one together. Hey, that's look, that's the plug right there. Look, you, you saying it on here? That's we the plug right there. Put that together. Tap in, Sterl. Where you at? Yeet yeet. What does WGA stand for? Whoo, motherfucking old gang aggressive. The whole gang is aggressive. We, yes, sir, ski. What is, when that start? Yeah. yeah. So that started what? Two years ago? Like, like two years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two years ago. WGA. What does it stand for? Shit, whole gang aggressive, man. I mean, everybody with me applying pressure. Everybody aggressive. We come in an aggressive way. We ain't slacking. We ain't lagging. We ain't simping. Ain't none of that sucker shit. Man. Everything aggressive. Whole gang aggressive. You hear me, man? Yes, sir. Looking at the ice on your chain, man. You know, tell, tell tell us about it. Tell us about where you get that from. Shit, them blood diamonds, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna dive? You reach for it, but shit, man. That shit. This come from the name, man. Hard work. This shit took me a little minute to get, man. I'm just blessed to have. It's a trophy. You feel me? I ain't gonna never take this bitch off, and that nigga will get his ass put together if he try to reach for this motherfucker. So you can't, you can't take that at all. 
Hell no, nah, nigga. That's on my kid. That's on your kids. I got you. So, what are y'all? Uh, what are y'all trying to do? You know, five years from now, how y'all trying to re- take the rap? Shit, five years from now, we gonna be on top of the game, man. We gonna be out there with got now Jay Z chilling, kick, kicking our feet up. You feel me? And Cuz gonna be doing this interview again. You know what I'm saying? This bitch Sir. gonna be big. I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? That five years from now, we up. We ain't even gonna. No, sh- man. What about you, Roach? Five years, like he said, man. We gonna be. The plan is to be great. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what we working for. That's what we going towards. It's 24 hours a day. We working all 24. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> do either one of y'all ever want to sign a deal, or do you want to stay independent? We gonna, we gonna. It, I can't really answer. Yeah, if they, you know what I'm saying, if the deal makes sense and they talking enough numbers, but until then, shit, you know, we gonna do the independent way. That way, we keep everything. We ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, most of all, like we really listen, like looking probably distribution. Yeah, you know distribution deal anything. type. But other than that, we gonna keep rocking it out, thugging it out. How we been? Yeah, yeah. yeah, tell guys he quit playing with us, man. <laughs> oh, cuz said that. You know what I'm saying? So stop playing with us, man. You hear me? You hear me? So, what's your creative music process when you go to the studio? You know, how do you s- decide what you're gonna lay down that day? Shit, really? It's just off the vibe. Like, I ain't gonna, I don't, I don't be going to the studio. Tr- like, cause most niggas, they are going that bitch trying to make a hit. You know, we we just going in that bitch working. That's what, like, you know what I'm saying? Treat this shit like a job. Like, we just having fun at the same time. So, it's just off the vibes. And, you know, roll up a couple, you know what I'm saying? Put us in the zone and shit. What that beat sound like, that's what's gonna come out. The beat be saying it to a nigga sometimes, so shit. Right. Whatever that beat talking about, I gotta tell my story on that motherfucker. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What about you, Reggie? The process, like, it ain't like you said. When we when we link up in there, when we go in there, we already got a goal is coming to get something did. So we just gonna vibe. We got a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, we probably go through a half an hour. Listening to beats, you know what I'm saying? Trying to pick which one niggas catch the most. Draco might catch one first, or I might catch one like, damn, okay, listen to this. Or I'll probably go to him like, no, 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 get the mummy some shit. And he be like, okay, bet, 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 bet. Go ahead, yeah, let's do this real quick then. Then that's how I get did. Yes, sir. I asked Draco where his name come from. Tell me where yours came from. Man, my name came from because I was infatuated with it. Like cars and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, the Rucci wheels, yeah, the Rucci yeah, wheels, the Rucci wheels. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a Detroit thing for sure. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? But I just took it at that, and then I just fresh my name. That's tatted on me, you know what I'm saying? So that was my childhood name too. So I'm like Rucci Fresh, you know what I'm saying? So I just ran with that. Okay, BB, what's up, my baby? <laughs> what it do, baby? <laughs> what's up? What's up, man? You been, you been over there quiet, man? How you feeling today? Man, I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. <laughs> Okay, okay. Where y'all was just coming from when y'all came here? Damn, where the fuck was we coming from? Oh, I had to drop my kids off, man. I had to drop my kids off. Kids always come yeah, first, yeah. for sure. I had to drop my daughter and my son off, man. And shit, we were trying to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> man, we can't smoke in this month. <laughs> <laughs> but hell yeah, we were just chilling, though. How y'all feeling about the music right now, man? Shit. And Detroit lit. Yeah, Detroit on fire for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's got about we got about eight artists that's like legitimately, you know, getting looked at for show. Sure. Man. Uh, everybody, I think Detroit, this this was like one of the these last couple of years been the biggest years for Detroit like far as distribution wise, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody down there just touched the three sixty through here. Down there, you know what I'm saying? That's what made niggas step up too. It ain't even about the money, it's just about what you can do with it. You know what I'm saying? You can put yeah. so many other people in better situations, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we look at. Like we always got money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we trying to we trying to put the fam on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Go farther with yeah. this shit so our kids can be eating off this shit too. I feel that. And I uh you know, Lil Yachty kinda did that for Detroit when he came and made that whole mixtape. He yeah, put a lot yeah. of yeah, Detroit yeah, artists on this bitch up. He did. He did. Yeah. And everybody Lil. really went hard on that Shout bit out too. Lil Bo. Yeah. Shout out Shout out Lil That's Yachty. Do, Yachty. Yeah, he hard for sure. Big Draco, man, the real one, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do not confuse me with Doggy Ball. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Draco the Ruler? Nah. Oh, you t- oh, never mind. I, I know who you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <clears throat> the biggest, man. We got Cud KD in this bit. This shit gonna be big, man. This podcast, make sure y'all tap into this shit, man. You hear me? Open y'all ears, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just 
just follow it, man. Just follow this shit, man. Make sure y'all tap in with Cuz, man. For real. You hear me? You hear me? You you hear him? You hear him? It's all gonna be on Instagram. It's gonna be everywhere. Is it? You know, just go and support for sure. Yes, sir. Make sure y'all go follow me at that damn underscore Draco on Instagram. Draco Jackson on Facebook. Draco Jackson on YouTube. Oh, the biggest. Everybody, uh, you know, give our free promo right here. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Rucci underscore fresh underscore. On YouTube, same thing, Rucci fresh. Tap in. Speaking about the biggest. <laughs> speaking about speaking about the Detroit artists and, you know, the wave is going out. Who y'all think is the biggest art- artist from Detroit right now? And who actually embodies the Detroit style? Because me personally, I say it's probably Doug right now. Doug been on fire lately. I don't know. Vezo been going crazy too, though. Yeah, Vezo. Shout out to Vez. Vezo Vezo shout out to crazy, Vez, man. For sure. Them boys over there been holding it down. Work for shit. Peasy going crazy too. Shit. Peasy hard too, but for I don't, sure. Like the biggest stamp. I don't know. I don't know. I just know all them boys doing their thing, goddamn. Yeah. I yeah. I'd probably say it's the biggest, one. to me, in my opinion. Like, it ain't about the, you said the biggest. Mm-hmm. You're making the much noise, not the most money, right? Yeah, bada boom. I go with Babyface. Oh yeah, my, my noise wide. I'm gonna say Babyface. Yeah, Babyface. Yeah, noise wide. Shit. Like I say, all them boys doing their thing, they grinding. Just make sure y'all keep going. Cause keep going. Yeah, you gotta keep Don't going. Stop. You gotta put. You gotta push this till you can't be pushing no more. You gotta. You gotta be. You gotta be on all the playlists and all that. Most definitely. Yes, sir. <laughs> Took Babyface ten years to get the recognition he did. Man, you hear me? Don't, hey, listen, everybody don't know about the team Eastside days and and where they came from. People don't know who the Doughboys Cash Out is. People don't know. People don't know everybody. You know that that started this. Right. When I first moved here, I'm like, damn. It's a lot, it's a lot of these niggas rap. Oh yeah. Shout out to Doughboy Cash Out and Team Eastside man, cause they definitely. But they, yeah, when I when I first moved up here, Doughboys is going crazy out. for sure. When I first moved. They dope, definitely. Doughboys opened the door for this motherfucker for sure. Big influence on the city at the cause it died down for a minute at the Blade Icewood and Eastside Cheddar Boy Street Lords and Big Herc and all them. You know what I'm saying? So. And that's the real legends of Detroit yeah. for real. Most for people definitely. that don't know that. Yeah. So. Most definitely. They 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 brought that that era back. And they took off with it. They held it down for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So them boys definitely legends through this bitch for sure. For sure. Both sides. Who do you think is all the Detroit legends from music? From the music? Yeah, music music wise, who y'all think is like some of the biggest artists to ever come out of Detroit? It gotta be rap. Yeah. I mean that's that's what y'all love. Y'all rap, uh, so you know, we ain't talking about singers. Some of the biggest, like Actually, like talent wise, though, like yeah, I mean, if that's how you want to say, say it, for sure. I'm, I, I, Dash Low, you know what I'm saying? She, she's definitely oh, yeah, talented. Yeah, she's talented for sure. Uh, you got uh, sexy than one. Facts. Dash, the uh, biggest baby. You got, uh, <laughs> me Hennessy and you. <laughs> me drinking you, baby. Uh, who else you got talented? Uh, Nisha Nisha. Yeah, most definitely. She, she, uh, she a nice. Vibe. She a vibe, too. Nee, 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 nee. That's on the girl side. What's that? Oh, shout out, shout out Rocky, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. Rocky yeah, B, yeah. fire. Rocky, yeah, Rocky B, fire. Rocky yeah, B, yeah. yeah. She one of them ones, for sure. Hey, shout out my nigga Eastside Egg Road, too. You know what I'm saying? He turned up this this year, too. I really listen. I don't know his music, but I just seen an interview he had with No Jumpers. So. Bricks and Offender. Bricks and Offender. We gonna get him on here. He coming. He, he, he coming. All right, better it up. Say less. We gonna say get less, him on say here. Less, say less. Say less. Say less. Y'all, listen. If y'all got the plugs, you know, it's it's up, for sure. We gonna get Egg Roll on there. Yeah, it's coming. Like I said, we 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 we've been we've been bumping heads with a lot of a lot of motherfuckers around this motherfucker, but we've been trying to work on ourselves at the same That's time. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? So oh yeah, because you know you got to push your own brand. You know, obviously it's good to work with other people. It puts you at a broader, Fact. but you got to push your own brand though. But definitely, definitely, yeah, we coming. Definitely, we coming. Most definitely. Make sure y'all go get that blood diamonds too. I forgot to tell y'all that, that shit streaming blood diamonds everywhere. Peasy, right, right now streaming everywhere. Man, y'all go get that whatever. Gotta hey, plug the promo. Shoot the video too. Gotta plug the promo. Yes, sir. I think that's it for us, guys. Yeet, yeet. It's a good interview. Yes, sir. I'm your host, KD. Exiting. Rochi.
Big Draco, the real one, man. The done, man. Draco Jackson, man. And cuz we be over there that ain't said nothing all yeah, episode. Man. We off the juice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? All right, that's it, man. We out of here. Oh. Next episode.